got so you again. Close. So we got a call for some kind of vehicle that is high centered on a rock and rattlesnake. It is late Saturday night, so I brought the Saturday night crew. That's me. It's a beautiful night. It's going to be like 40 degrees out on this job. We'll go get them out. Fortunately, we do have a pin, so we know that we can drop down the middle trail, and that will save us a bunch of time. This road is deteriorating before my very eyes. All right, we recently adjusted the struts in the banana, and it feels like we may have adjusted the back too much. So we're going to adjust it some more. That means we're just going to wing it and burp out a little gas and see if it rides smoother. I think we have like 125 PSI in the bottom end of these. What are you shooting for, Matt? I think I'm shooting for like 80 to 100, but there's no way I'm gonna know that. I'm just gonna let some out. So there's not an awful lot of information on how to tune these. They say just play around with them until you're happy. I'm never happy. Okay, did you hear that? I've got to match that on the other side. All right, there's a little lesson on how not to tune your shocks. Let me zoom in. So that's where we're letting it out. How much air pressure is in these tires? Maybe that's all it is. Too much. This is no time to be doing these kind of adjustments, but here we are. I just know it's it's riding way stiffer in the rear than it did a week ago. 17 pounds? Well, there you go. We didn't need to adjust the shocks. We need to adjust the tires. Okay, let's do this together. and. Okay. And we'll just count. I'm ready to go when you are. Hey Siri, set timer for one minute. It's going. All right, we were able to get those tires aired down. We've got between 11 and 12 pounds in there right now, which is still a little higher than I like, but it's gonna be perfect for today's activities. Between the tires and the shocks, we should be able to move a little faster now. All right, this is a big improvement in ride quality and just control and feel. So I'm going to have to find out from the maintenance guy if he ordered the tires aired up and Jake aired them up. That's my guess. We will find you. But this is way more than an 11% improvement, wouldn't you say? Well, it's at least an 11% improvement, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Okay, at least 11. The shortcut's pretty aggressive. Yeah, you're lucky you can't see out. Is it but actually shorter? It's way shorter distance wise, slightly longer time wise. It's the perfect shortcut. Look on your Onyx map and see if this is shorter. We're on the white line. That little blue dot is us. We would have had to go around on the black and blue. And this is definitely a shortcut. I feel like the shortcut is at least 11% better than the long way, all things considered. There you have it, he'd know. Okay, this trail is getting a little spicy. It's really wearing in nice. Yeah, this is, uh, We've had a little bit of rain and some snow and some traffic and it's definitely had its effect on this road. We are like literally, as I'm speaking, dropping off from the side of the mountain into the bottom of the ravine. Yeah, the river is right in front of us here. And I'm trying to do it without wrecking us. Yeah, don't go in the river yet. Well, you know what they said, darn near killed them. We saved a guy right there that was absolutely buried in the mud one time. We found him accidentally. We were headed out from another job and it was very fortunate because it was crazy cold that day. You've done a lot of jobs back in here. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty familiar with this trail and I know that it's treacherous. If you come to Sand Hollow, and you wouldn't consider yourself an actual expert level wheeler, I would not do this trail without friends that are expert wheelers. You have to know what's under the water. You can't see it. Oh yeah, that and makes it, it tricky. And that's probably what happened to this guy. There's the hippopotamus rock that... <laughs> Hangs up a lot if, of yeah, people. If you don't know where to go on the hippopotamus rock, you will go the wrong way. Have you ever seen a rattlesnake on rattlesnake? I can't say that I have. It's probably rattlesnake because it just winds back and forth and crosses the river over and over and over again. Oh, you think that it's named after the feature of the river, not the actual animal. That's what I'm guessing. Does anybody know the answer? Leave it in the comments. Why is it called rattlesnake? 
Um, it just occurred to me that this guy might be hung up on the hippopotamus rock. I didn't get the pin until I was driving, so I have I just took time to notice where to drop in at. I didn't notice exactly where he's at. He may be on the hippopotamus rock, which makes a lot of sense. Because if you're on the hippopotamus, you're gonna drag your bottomus. This is where Onyx is showing him. Is that about where hippopotamus is? It's about. All right, we'll see what happens. This trail would be terrifying at night because you lose it in the river and you don't know when you're supposed to get out. If you didn't know oh, this yeah, trail- Oh yeah, you wouldn't see it. You'd keep going up the river- Until you missed the trail. Until you got stuck. Yeah. You'd sink in like George. Yes, good old George and his curious submarine. So this is where you can swim. It's out there, you can't see it, but you've seen me swim in it. Oh, you committed! Woo! You committed! You swam in this right here? Yeah. In this little gorge part? Yeah, it's pretty deep, like up to your neck. Oh, nice. You can doggy paddle. I only doggy paddle. I only dog paddle. I tried an alternate line that was slightly harder because I wanted the flex. I'd take the easy line, man. This is pretty gnarly. This used to be more like dirt covered rock. Now it's just nasty, nasty rock. This is a beastie little obstacle. It's also slimy from everybody getting their muddy tires on it. You want me to go spot it then? Well, I, can, you see, I can see my exact line. I just don't know if I can do you it. You trying to get on top of this or are you trying to go to the right? Yeah, I'm trying to left. Go here. We get a lot of motorcycle riders that come through here too. Um, I do not recommend bringing your motorcycle through here again, unless you are an absolute expert level rider. It's and really you're, rough. And you're in for a miserable time. If you're okay with a miserable time and you're an expert level rider, this is a great trail. Oh man, this is kind of fun night wheeling like this. Is... this. This is Southern Utah's Rubicon, where you can get through it and you're gonna be fine, but you gotta pay attention and you gotta know where your differential is, front and rear. You gotta be paying attention to that. Oh, here's a customer, I think, right here. You guys have any fun? Yeah, how's it going? Are you stuck on the hippopotamus? Yeah, we're on the hippopotamus. I was correct, he is on the hippopotamus. All right, well. You we'll know get, how to do these. We'll get him off the hippopotamus. We got another job coming up right after this, just up on the Colob, Colob Terrace Road. Alright, well that'll be fun. We're pulling an all-nighter. Oh, it's a side-by-side. -side. Look at that. It's a Honda. Yeah. Um, do you have your water shoes on? No, but I'll go get in. Okay. All right, tell us the story. What happened He's out here? He's the driver right oh, Okay, there. okay. Right so. On. We, want, we actually put this trail on the GPS so we could follow all the way because we want to get to Tocqueville Falls and go back the other way. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. And this one, I knew I needed to hit at an angle. Uh -huh. And just as I got up on the angle, it slid back. Oh, shoot. And then, we're, then we've been trying to put rocks under the tires, rocks under the things. We are just high centered and aren't going anywhere. And we all talk about plan A, plan B's next time so we have another person and more gear. Yeah. You might have thought we were being crass when we were talking about the hippopotamus and the bottomus, but you can clearly see that is the bottomus of this rig that is stuck on the hippopotamus. The fact that it rhymes is just a coincidence. Purely coincidental. He definitely didn't stick the landing though, so I'm giving him like a 9.3. 
So tell me what you guys are going to do. Are you trying well, to head all the way through, or are you no, going to turn around no. and go back? Yeah, get them turned around right here. OK. Oh, So we're getting them back across the hippopotamus. You're gonna to want to hang close to this. What is it? The I the I forget what they are. The J Jawa the rock. Jawa? Yeah, this is the Jawa sand crawler. Oh. <laughs> Got so you again. Close. Wow, we're so close. A little more. Ready? I don't know. This is not gonna do it. Let's. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think we're gonna have to charge them double. Keep coming. A little more. Keep coming. Right there. Headlights, I'm not gonna stop till we get to the gun range. Okay. They were seriously stuck. <laughs> yeah, they were. They'd been trying for a couple hours to get that off of there, stacking I had, rocks. I didn't think they would have trouble getting over that short side. There's no sand stacked up in between yeah. there at all. Everything's washed pretty clean right now. We're just gonna head out. The customer's following us. We're just gonna try to make as good a time as possible because we've got another job to get to. See you right there, baby. Check that out. Okay, we'll give you another shirt to go with that one. Look at that. Now I get black. Now you got now you got the set. Right. You got part of the complete set. There you go. The collector's item. Yeah. Nice. Thank you, Matt. You're awesome. You guys are great. Thank you. Alright, off to the next job. Head and collab. Like we said, we got a call for some kind of an RV camper thing that has got itself stuck in some red dirt. That is a direct quote from the customer. So we're gonna head up here, see if we can get them out there on the Co-op Terrace Road. They're only up a couple of miles. I don't think it's gonna be a big deal. It's gonna be a kinetic pole in the dark. Okay, we're looking for an RV and red dirt. Time for a weather report, Tom. It is a beautiful evening, like 45 degrees and calm and dark. The calm before the storm is what I think it is. It rained a little bit today, so everything is wet out there, which is kind of nice. I was gonna turn this light off in the middle of Tom talking. Oh, now it's eerie. I'm gonna show you how dark it is out here. That's pretty dark. We're about a minute away from the customer. I don't think they're super far off the pavement, but I do believe they're super stuck because I've seen the pictures. I think that's his headlights right there. Oh, we got him. Off in the distance. So we're trying to figure out if this guy drove up this road because this is pretty gnarly road. Yeah, for an RV, no way. Yeah. That's why he's stuck. How's it going? Good, how are you doing? Good. Came up that road then? Yeah. <clears throat> that was okay. a pretty rough road. We should probably go forward with you. And get you turned around here. Are you just gonna stay the night up here or? <laughs> yeah, well actually, yeah, it'd probably be better to go back. Look how flexed out this is. Yeah, it'd be nice if they had lockers. <laughs> All right. Okay, I've just got to figure out how to get past here. I don't like how much weight you can see that it's... He's got a jack pressure. underneath, too. We probably need to undo that. What do we have here? Oh, that's sewer right there. So where's the jack at? I put it under the axle just on that side. Oh. And I can, uh, I can spin it loose real quick. This isn't going to go up, and that's just going to be scraping that entire way. I'm starting to rethink. I'm thinking we might should come backwards with it. I, like, I don't want to be breaking sewer parts, and that's... Yeah, it's appreciated. Kind of where we're at. I 
tonight we're going to find out how good these are welded on. When I see your reverse lights, I know you're ready to go. I don't, um, we're just gently rolling up. So not a lot of throttle, not a lot of action, and then ease it on. Because if you go fast, I'll go fast. Okay. And then you'll pop a wheelie. <laughs> I'll go nice and slow then. Okay. This is going to be nice and easy. That's exactly what we needed. That's what we got. <laughs> Every vehicle should come with a pendle hitch for easy and fast recoveries. Oh, what a world that would be. Yeah. We got these from Barnes Four Wheel Drive. We got these from Harbor Freight. We got this from Yankum Ropes. And we got that from Yankum Ropes. This was a Real joint effort. Banana became sentient three years ago. Yeah? Yeah. People don't know that. Okay. Now the trick is to back that down the hill. I wonder if there's a place to turn that around. So Matt's scouting out a good place to turn around this big RV so we don't have to back it all the way down the road. We can flip it around and drive it straight out. I think we can turn him around right here too. Let me just get out of the way and let's try that. Yeah, so do, yeah, just you want to spot him or you yeah, run just it? jump in it and I'll just I'll just yell at you when you don't do what, what I didn't clearly say. <laughs> Start straightening out a little bit. Okay. Start hugging this side of the road. A little. Okay, keep coming this way. We're just gonna miss this pull. That's kind of all we care about. You got plenty of room over here. Straighten out just a little bit. Okay, now start turning again. I think it's there. Go that way just a little. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Piece of cake. Okay, we're just gonna make sure you make it down to your camp site and we'll get your shirt. Okay, perfect, thanks. That went good. I'm glad that, we could get him turned around. Yeah, that did that did do good. Backwards was nice. I don't think we damaged anything. Yeah. You can see there how we could easily make the wrong decision or the right decision all in within a couple of seconds of each other. Thanks for uh, meeting out here, especially with the late timing. Yeah, well we weren't too awfully far away when we got done with that other job. So. Yeah. All right. Thank you much. Okay. Well, you guys have a good night. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Right on. You guys yeah. have a good night. Have a great you too. Night. Take care. All right. That wasn't too hard. They were in a bad spot, but we were able to just hook there. You saw it. It was like, and then he's determined to get back up there. <laughs> he's going so, right back in. What can you do? So if you see this again, it's not. It's not fake TV. It's real. He really, 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 really wants that rig up there. We turned him around, and then he turned himself back around, and it's going back. It's going back in. What do you do? What do you do? Thanks for watching. We're not going to eat cold dinner tonight. Joke's on you. We already ate dinner. <laughs> <laughs>